Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve in Plano, Texas, where it's a balmy 26 degrees. Of course, my friends in Canada are breaking out the cold ones and ready to head out to the beach, but in Texas, this is uh, pretty cold. And as you can see, we've had a bit of winter weather. The trails out here at the preserve get a lot of traffic, so the dirt gets uh, very, very heavily packed. And as a result, it doesn't take much precipitation so that once it freezes, it just becomes like an ice rink. So in addition to that uh, layer of frozen water, we also have anywhere from about a half inch to three inches of freezing rain mixed in with a bit of snow. And uh, I think this will make a really good test environment for the Hill Sound Trail Crampons Ultra. Now I reviewed the predecessor to this product a couple years ago during the infamous Polar Vortex. So uh, my expectations are set pretty high. That was just an absolutely outstanding product. And uh, we've got a very difficult challenge today. I'm gonna to get out and do the entire outer loop trail. So uh, concrete, rocks, uh, uneven terrain, uh, all the various uh, types of mixes of uh, frozen patches and freezing rain and snow and such. But you know what? I know what the score is. You don't want to hear me talk about it. You want me to get out and do it. So you want it, you got it. We are at the staging area where I normally do my final gear checks before I do a flashlight or headlamp review. You may have seen the uh, playground area there in a couple of reviews. That's the trail crampons on my Rocky Alpha Force boots. What I'm gonna do is head out in this direction past the bridge pick up the entrance to the outer loop trail. You may have seen that on uh, other review videos. Take that all the way around the preserve and we'll see if I can stay vertical for the entire exercise. Okay, here we are at the bridge. This is just for fun and something to show my viewers who have looked at uh, flashlight and headlamp reviews and uh, you've seen me at this location, I don't know how many times, but uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it during the daytime, much less in uh, winter storm conditions. So a little bonus segment here for the uh, old subscribers. So this is going to be my first kind of interesting test. I'm uh, simulating a situation in search and rescue where let's say I hear something down in that creek area, don't know what it is. Uh, we have a little bit of a slope here to contend with. And so I'm gonna go down and try to get a better view of uh, what I just heard. Okay, I'm going to have to get kind of close to the edge here. Uh, what I heard was down in that direction. I uh, guess it was a false alarm, so I'm going to go work my way back up to the uh, main path here. All right, I'm coming back up onto the uh, main path, and then we'll uh, head up to the 
entrance to the Outer Loop Trail. Okay, this is kind of uh, an offshoot, but a pretty interesting slope right here. So I'm going to see if I can uh, make it around and we'll see how this goes. Ah, yes, nothing like thorns getting tangled up in your smog. Another interesting slope here. Man, I love that grip. Then back up. All right, and this is where that kind of offshoot uh, hooks back up with the segment I was on of the outer loop. Uh, if you've seen any of my other uh, videos, there's the uh, observation tower. Okay, we've come to a pretty deep bowl here. Uh, the outer loop trail goes along the periphery here. I'm going to uh, attempt something that falls in the category of uh, don't try this at home. Now, this is a very high angle descent. Normally this would be uh, done with a pretty significant rope set up. And I don't trust any of these trees. So I'm going to do a free descent, but I'm not going to do it uh, standing up vertical. I'm basically going to slide down and control crawl back up. The scenario is something on the order of, you know, some kids came out here playing. They tumbled down this hill. Uh, I need to get down there and provide first aid, warm them up, so forth, and uh, wait for first responders to come in and do a proper extraction. So, here we go. Well, my uh, rear end is wet, but I made it down. My trekking pole and uh, trail prampons gave me uh, decent traction for a controlled descent, so to speak. And uh, so, I'm going to make it back up. If this were a real situation, of course, I'd just wait until first responders arrived, would get the kids extracted, and then I would rope my way back up. But uh, I'm gonna make it challenging today. All right, I made it back up. Uh, there's my mechanics gloves. Actually, it was this last few feet, maybe the last six feet was the absolute toughest. That was where I went down, but it left an incredible slick spot. So I came back up here because I had two trees I could potentially use to my advantage getting back up. So let me uh, ah, stand back up here. All right, this is, a, this is where I started right here. You might be able to see the slide marks right there. A uh, high angle descent followed by a high angle ascent, completely free, no ropes. Main trail is back up in this area. I'm going to head down here, way off trail. Uh, in this scenario, let's say I'm searching for someone, I hear a faint yell off in that direction. Uh, 
I've, I've got to get down there and check that out. So uh, let's see how it works out. Extremely slick here. Okay, made it down. I'm going to head over in this direction. And, uh, you know, this would complete a scenario where I find someone over here, uh, render first aid, and then I'll probably have to go back up and direct additional responders into our area. Well, we've made the big turn and we're kind of heading into uh, what might be called a home stretch. This is a long ascent that heads up in this direction. Not very high angle, but I know from past experience that you can see it's pretty uneven. There's a lot of rocks under there. We've had some traffic through here. You can see uh, the evidence of one slide mark already. The person's not here, so I guess they uh, got lucky, made it through okay. But as we often tell the kids out of the Denton Police Academy, don't substitute good luck for good tactics and uh, and good gear. So uh, what I'm going to do is keep my feet spread out and avoid that area in the middle, and uh, we'll try to make it up here. Now I have a lot of stability with this uh, wide stance, especially with the trail crampons. Probably got enough room to make it over here now. It's really nothing but ice once you uh, get down about a half inch. There's enough snow mixed in with this so you can get a little bit of traction. But you have to be very careful. See, there's a lot of the rocks I was talking about. If you're not careful, that's a mechanical injury waiting to happen. All right, well, we made it through. Time to move onward. So after that uh, ascent, I was rewarded with a relatively flat and easy path in. Uh, I'm just about to go down this direction, hook back up the concrete path, and then back to the parking lot. I just wanted to point this out. This isn't much of an angle, but you can see another slip mark right by that rock. So I guess somebody just hit the edge of that rock and uh, slip. I, I don't know if they're going up or down, but uh, I'm gonna go down here, work my way across these rocks. And I'll head on in. So here's another area you've probably seen in other videos of flashlight and headlamp evaluations, just not during the day. I do a lot of wrap-ups here, so I'm going to head, 
and close this one out. I've got about another five minutes to get back to the truck. And uh, wow, this one was real simple. Uh, Hill Sound Trail Crampons Ultra. When you absolutely positively have to stay vertical. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you found uh, the review informative, if not entertaining. And as always, until the next review, thank you very much for your time and thank you for watching the video.